Hello, welcome back to your YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the course of problem in airport management. So, like SAP is building an airport in SAP land, and there are n aeroplanes or airplane. The so that i the aeroplanes arrive at the a i minute and depart at the d i minute. So we have to calculate the minimum number of runways required at the airport so that all the arrivals and departures can occur smoothly. So this is the case. So, like we have certain nodes, arrival and departure timings are given in the minutes after midnight, and the plane uses the runway only in the minute at which it arrives or departs. Between the arrival and departure times, the runway is available for by other airplanes. One runway can be used by one airplane at a point of time. Okay. So, like let's discuss the test case to understand. And we are giving on the first line, we are given the Arrival time and on the second line we are given the departure time. Okay, so we have to calculate the minimum number of runways. Okay, so let's suppose like take the first case. So at like first airplane will come at first and departure at at time two. Second will at one and two and third one at Two and three, okay. So there is two at the same time, one and one. Two airplanes come at the same time. So yes, we need two runways at least. For this case, like at the departure time, these two will depart, and this third will also come on the same time. So like if it is also at, come at the same time, the total runways we required will be three. Okay, and if we see the second case, then we can see like it is one, four, five, six, four, and ten, and our one is three and four. So like at first. We will require only one, like one airplane is coming, so we require one airport. So two will be at at the time t equal to two, that will be empty. At three, it will be empty. Like at time t equal to four. So two airplanes will be departing, okay, and one airplane is coming. So two plus one coming plus going, that will be the Answer. So answer will be three. In this case, one, four, three, and two, six, five. So like at no point of time they're coinciding two aeroplanes or more than two aeroplanes. So like at particular time there there can be aeroplane come and go. There will not be a any extra requirement for runway. So like how can we solve this problem? So for solving this problem, what we can do? Like this is very simple. You just have to take the input of these two and create a vector for taking this input, and then create a map. Okay, so it will store the count of frequency of these elements. Okay, so you can do this directly and store this frequency in this map. Okay, and the frequency the maximum frequency it will that will be our answer so let's suppose like discuss this case second case so for one frequency is one five frequency is one okay three frequency is one four frequency is one two Three. So total frequency we have to count, like both arrival time and departure time. So for four, and then we have six. Six, it is one, and then we have ten. It is also one. So what is the maximum? Maximum is three. That will be our answer. Okay. So like if we discuss some other case to understand clearly, just what we will do, like. Take this example, first one, 
and inside first it has two frequency okay one and one and two it has three frequency one is arrival and two at departure time and three has one frequency so what is the maximum frequency maximum frequency is three and that will be our answer so hope you understand this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you